<laughs> Yo, said shut the f up. Yo, three. Yo, stop fucking playing with me, dog. Ah, cause I'm just saying it's like three in the morning. I'm trying to sleep. Bro, what do you mean trying to sleep? Boy, you don't get to sleep in here. You don't do nothing. I gotta do this video. I just told you that so I can pay these bills. Something you don't do, broke ass boy. You wanna go live with your mom again? Yo, saying you ain't even have to violate me like that. I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying, stop playing with me because you don't even got a job. You smart as hell and have no job. You look like the nigga from Dexter's lab and you don't have no lab. Like, well, I'm just saying, go become an engineer or something. Go hack a computer, weird ass. Anyways, I'm doing this Joker video. The Joker? The nigga who be fighting Batman with the fancy makeup on? You don't even like Batman. Nah, you right. I don't even fuck that nigga. He is just a billionaire white guy with white privilege who beats up poor people and gets away with it because he's white and has white privilege. But I mean, that's not neither here or there. That's not the point I'm trying to make. Anyway, shut up. I gotta get in the booth. Now, I ain't gonna hold you, y'all. When I sat down to make this video, I was mad excited to talk about the Joker, bro. But then my excitement turned into anxiety because I realized there's a billion versions of the Joker. Different timelines, different versions, generational gaps, like all types of shit. So with that being said, if you like this video, man, make sure you get it to at least 15,000 likes and 150,000 views, bro. Because if you do, then I'll notice you want a part two with different versions of the Joker. And if you get it to 20,000 likes, I ain't gonna lie, I seen a poll. I'm gonna get y'all that reverse flash video too. Heh, <laughs> that's on the house. So we're gonna talk about four different Jokers today. We're gonna talk about the killing joke, Injustice, Under the Red Hood, and of course, last but not least, the Dark Knight. And my man Heath Ledger, the GOAT. First and foremost, rest in peace to my man Heath Ledger, man. We gotta have a moment of silence. All right, man, let's get straight into it. Yo, we got to talk about Injustice first and foremost, yo, because this nigga Joker and Injustice was a different breed. So it all starts off with Batman and Superman. They having a whole conversation and Batman is telling them that Joker's a metropolis. Already, I knew some of shenanigans were afoot and I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I don't trust anybody with no clown makeup on, especially if it's that Fenty. You know that man got the Rihanna foundation on? My was out here looking glamorous. Now, something that y'all need to keep in mind here that's important is that Lois Lane is pregnant. Superman to put the super cum in her and now, you know, he gonna have a little nigga or a little girl. I mean, uh, nigga could be a gender neutral term. You know what I'm trying to say. So at this point, when Superman and Batman are talking, Lois is off with one of her friends and they're taking pictures of something that seems to be crime. Now, I ain't gonna lie, crime does pay, and sometimes it pays in blood because these niggas was taking pictures and Lois peeped the scene. She looked at this nigga's shoes and was like, hold on, purple pants, purple and a green shoe. Oh my God. Oh, this nigga worked for the Joker. And then the Joker pops out of the cut. The nigga that was holding the camera didn't have time to shoot a picture because he got shot in his fucking face. Joker hit this nigga with a straight blicky shot through the lens. Boom. Bro had his blood everywhere. The dude's name was Jimmy, bro. And this next part was mad crazy because harley queen came out the cut and smacked lois in the back of the head with a fucking whack-a-mole mallet bitch had the super mario brothers super smash brothers mallet <laughs> Boom, smack the shit out of her i was like yo you got to get at least 100 tickets with that hit then this nigga joker looked down you know he had the balenciagas on he talking about yeah i got a little jimmy on my shoes first off pause what do you mean little jimmy i'm just saying so after this happens superman pulls up on the scene and he realizes that he can't hear or see lois anywhere the fact the fact that this nigga knew something was afoot because he couldn't see or hear her in the entire vicinity is kind of weird. I understand protecting your newborn and all that, but yo, what kind of tapped in stalker shit does you want, Supes? Are you sank into her thoughts? Talking about I haven't heard her breathe in 40 minutes. Something's wrong. Weird ass using your superhero to fucking be a peeping Tom. But we not even gonna talk about that, yo. But anyways, Batman goes into this lab and realizes something is wrong, yo. There's some kryptonite missing. Now, anytime kryptonite is missing, it means that somebody is probably trying to smoke Superman, bro. If there's kryptonite to be had, that Lex Luthor probably got it, bro. But this time he didn't. I guess it was the Joker. Superman show up like, bro, I can't find Lois anywhere. I checked her Facebook, her MySpace, her Moco Space, her AOL, her Hotmail Messenger. I checked everything, bro. I hit her on her sidekick. Like, 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 like all types of shit. I tried to FaceTime her. It didn't work. I even asked Siri what was going on. Batman was like, yo, first off, you calm the down boy you acting a little bit sprung i sprung now she got me got me doing things i never do i'm superman i'm a stalker too Ooh. Ooh. like bro he was acting mad weird anyways he's like batman i need help so this is when i knew this man superman had the whole month the city clocked in bro this nigga batman hit his earpiece bro he hit his airpods yo let me translate for you real quick he said <clears throat> He said, yo, gang, 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 it's your man, Batman, your favorite white privilege ass. 
Uh, hey, yo, Justice League, is anybody that's in the vicinity and available? I need you to help me out, bro. We got a missing bitch. It was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Who the missing bitch? He was like, I ain't gonna cap. It's one of us, yo. It's that white bitch lowest, the one that be fucking with Superman. And Cyborg was like, I ain't gonna lie. That's that brunette. I smashed that bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. But at this point, everybody running around trying to find Lois. And we finally found her, bro, at this fucking dock. Superman shows up, and this is where shit got dark, bro. This man, the Joker, is a different fucking breed, bro. This man, Joker, has Superman inhale some of his laughing shit so he can start hallucinating. So he think Doomsday is out. And if y'all know anything about Doomsday, you know that this nigga is a savage. The only nigga I know that makes Superman sweat are Doomsday and really Dark Side. I mean, there's other niggas in the comics, but as far as the animated series go, it's these two niggas, the goats. So when Doomsday pop up, of course, Superman is trying to fight this nigga. He takes him to a whole different atmosphere, flies this nigga to space. I thought this nigga worked for Elon Musk the way he was going to the moon. They in the middle of the air and shit. He finally kills her. Batman's like, Superman, stop. Then he comes to and he realizes that this entire time he was hallucinating that the person he had beat up, the person he had killed was his wife, Lois. This nigga the Joker had Superman kill his unborn child and his wife. <laughs> it's different. Also, he set up a bomb that was implanted on her heart that when her heart stopped, that it would set off a detonator and destroy the entire city of Metropolis. He also nuked this whole nigga city. He basically made Superman feel like he killed everybody in Metropolis, including his wife and unborn child. <laughs> Now, I ain't gonna hold you, man. After this, Superman went crazy and flew straight into an interrogation room where the Joker was and put his whole fucking arm through his chest and back. But that's another conversation for another video. We're not here for injustice right now, but we are here to talk about the Joker, and this is a madman. Now that we got past injustice, because this clearly wasn't in the rest of the movie, he got smoked. Let's move on to the killing joke. Now, the killing joke is a comic, so we're going to have to put some stills up here, but I'll make sure the editor makes it interesting for y'all, because if he doesn't, I'm going to be mad, and I might not pay him anymore. So, it's kind of how this works. I, anyways, in the beginning of the killing joke, Joker is in Arkham Asylum, bro. He's always in this motherfucker, bro. Arkham Asylum is basically the loony bin, the crazy house. That's where niggas go when they do bad things, bad things, like LaMilton. The Milton should have went to Arkham Asylum, I'm gonna be honest. But anyways, that man comes here to see Joker because he wants to talk to him and try to find out if them niggas can hash things out. But nigga, he was in for a rude awakening because he gets here and this nigga Joker done escape. Batman is beating the shit out of the nigga in the room talking about where is he? Where is the Joker? Why does Batman always sound like he got some shit in his throat? Fucking mouth sound like a fucking chimney. Like, god damn, what you got soot in your throat? Batman talks like he got emphysema. Yeah, I've been smoking cigarettes for 30 years. Like, sound like Uncle Jimbo. Like, what the f Anyways, this man Joker off having the time of his life as this is happening, yo. He's talking to a dude at an amusement park. And he started extorting this for an entire amusement park. He's talking to this nigga. He's like, yeah, so this is kind of cool. The guy's like, yeah, by the way there, Joker. Uh, yeah, some of these rides are a little torn down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think the last guy that owned this amusement park went by the name of it's uh pennywise the clown like he did some questionable things here but uh we know that you're a clown so we thought that you'd like it and of course the joker wasn't going to turn it down it was like hell yeah it's like wow well, okay uh is money going to be a problem and it wasn't because he used his fucking joker gas on this nigga and he had his men his cronies his flunkies beat the shit out of his lawyers and make him sign the paperwork already they had niggas beating up somebody to sign over an entire amusement park. That is some Disneyland shit. Anyways, at this point, Barbara and her old ass detective ass dad are cooling. This nigga's putting pictures in scrapbooks and shit as he always does on this weird ass collage and shit. Like, nigga, get a different hobby. Collect buttons or something. You collecting fucking newspaper clippings and pictures of villains and shit. Nigga, you gotta have a lonely life. Anyways, there's a knock at the door, so Barbara goes to answer, and it's the Joker in a fucking vacation outfit. Where did you get Hawaiian clothes from? As soon as she opens the door, BOOM! He shoots this bitch dead in her spine. He fucking paralyzes her. As this is happening, he beats the shit out of the detective until he's unconscious, and then he takes all the clothes off of Barbara. Lord knows what he did after that, but we're gonna find out very shortly. Cause after this happens, we get this little thing with Batman and her, but that's not important. But what is important is the next thing we see, because this old ass detective is at this amusement park on a fucking leash, getting tortured by midget clowns. First off, where do you find these people at? 
Did you have Sideshow Bob as your fucking cronies? Like, what is happening? They're beating the shit out of this old dude that had him on a leash. It looked like he was in a dominatrix section of Pornhub. It looked like they were going to gag and strap him next. I'm just saying. Anyways, they put this on a roller coaster, and I'm like, what are y'all about to, like, make him ride rides until he dies or something? But then they drive him into this little enclosed area in the, like, roller coaster seat. And you remember when I told you Barbara, his daughter, how they stripped her naked? Oh, yeah, they violated her and took pictures, and they rode him through it and made him watch his daughter be violated in these pictures on a fucking jumbotron everywhere. What kind of sick ass are you? At this point, Batman had enough and he shows up. These start the fucking mixing. He tackled this to a puddle, but I ain't gonna lie, Joker was not having that. He got up with his big ass clown shoes and started fucking running. <laughs> Niggas out of here, running fast as shit. They going through all these funny ass obstacles and shit in the mirror maze. He had Batman jumping over spikes and shit. Like you got spike traps on the ground. What the f is this? A booby trap? What is he playing, Maze Runner? Anyways, after all this happens, he tackles this nigga Joker through a fucking mirror, bro. Do a two way mirror. Tackles him through it. But this man Joker was strapped and ready, bro. He pulled out a big ass revolver. Now I'm thinking he's about to blow Batman seven days to Sunday, cause yeah, Batman is just a regular ass. N but you know what happens when you're a regular ass? N you can die to regular ass bullets. So then he hits the trigger, and the fucking gun goes bang. But like on some cartoon shit, where like the little scroll of paper comes out and it says bang on it. I ain't gonna lie, yo. The ending of this made me mad as hell, bro. Motherfucker sitting here talking and laughing and shit, making jokes with each other. Get the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie. This a joker different, though. He violated that. I had him watching his daughter naked on these jump. Oh, my God. Imagine you go to the Super Bowl, yo, and then your daughter's on the Jumbotron during the halftime show, but she's naked and Justin Timberlake's there and that. Oh, shit. That happened with Janet Jackson. Anyways, let's move on. Now let's talk about Under the Red Hood. This one's gonna be real quick, but I gotta talk about this warehouse scene, bro. So Robin, the Robin at the time, is tied up in a warehouse, right? Now, <laughs> the Joker's in there talking heavy to this, but he has a fucking instrument of death, an instrument of doom, a construction tool, something that's dangerous, something powerful. It's a fucking crowbar. He has a crowbar in his hand, beating these shit out of Robin with it. He is smacking this nigga hard as shit and he's asking him questions why he's doing it what hurts more a boom or b boom or is it forehand Blicky. or backhand mickey like he's smacking his and asking him what hurts more so at this point robin is like <laughs> and joker is like what he leaning in and robin looks up at him like he's about to say something that goes <sighs> and he spits on this face with blood now this joker was not happening and he pulls out his tea and crumpet smuff napkin he is his, his, his handkerchief he was like oh that's not very nice i'm gonna have to teach you a lesson now nah, i'm just gonna keep beating you with this crowbar and start smacking this again now after he's done punishing this for a long ass time he's looking down and he's like now be a good boy make sure you finish your homework by nine batman's on his way here but man it was too late this robin contorts his body gets out of the handcuffs somehow it was weird like he's still in the handcuffs but he like flipped around so he could stand i, I don't know anyways this starts to try walking away but his foot is hurt so he falls and he starts crawling now at this time batman is rushing there and i'm like why is he still rushing joker's gone and then i realized once this robin crawled about halfway there and he's about to get outside there's a bomb revealed could have saw that coming bombs this nigga blew up the entire warehouse and smoked this nigga. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what's worse. Making this nigga think that he was gonna make it out alive just to blow him up, or the fact that you beat the shit out of this nigga with a crowbar for 30 minutes. That's gonna make emotional damage. All right, all right, all right. We talked about the warm up jokers, but we gotta talk about the GOAT, the, 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 the best joker by far. Keith Ledger's, bro. Oh my God, the Dark Knight. So let's start off with the bank robbery scene, right? Now, first off, the Jokers in here, they all robbing niggas. They all in these motherfucking Joker masks, which is kind of crazy because the Joker had makeup on underneath the Joker mask, so he wasn't really even hiding anything. He was just a mask under a mask, but, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. They're robbing this place blind, bro. And this one guy tries to be a hero with a shotgun. Things didn't really turn out well for him as he gets shot in his fucking body and falls. But the next part was kind of crazy. So the Joker looks at the guy that's with him, his henchman, crony, whatever you want to call him, and he says, oh, this bus should be here any time now. And the guy goes, bus? And as he's saying it, a fucking bus backs into the bank, 
and smacks this nigga. Bro got hit by Miss Frizzle on her way to school. Everyone, please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way. Right. As this happened, and the guy in the bus hops out, and the guy on the ground trying to talk to him like, he's just going to do the same thing to you, man. And then he smokes the nigga that drove the bus there. Now, as this is happening, the guy on the ground is talking to him like, man, criminals used to have some sort of like camaraderie. There used to be some sort of respect. This man Joker walks over to him and says one of the coldest lines I have ever seen, bro. Whatever. He says, what doesn't kill you makes you a stranger. And he puts a grenade in this nigga's mouth. It's a smoke grenade, but a grenade nonetheless. He ties it to the end of the bus and I'm like, okay, what is he about to do? And then this nigga pulls off and hits the detonator with the bus door. Nigga had that nigga inhaling all types of shit. The toxins that was coming out of that, man, who knows what the fuck was coming out of that shit. That shit looked like my bathroom after I had Taco Bell, I'm gonna be honest. Anyways, after this, the next time we see the Joker, he shows up to these people's meeting. Now, these people are like mafia type bosses, like crime syndicate type shit, but it's all the people that he just stole all of this money from. Now, the thing that's funny about it is they're fucking tight, but the Joker still shows up to their meeting unannounced. The first thing I see when he walks in there is Michael Jaha White. And I'm like, hmm, this Joker better not try to start a fight. That's all I'm saying. This Michael Jaha White is not playing. I know y'all niggas seen Blood and Bones. You seen what he did to Kimbo Slice in that bathroom? Don't fight him. So as this man, Michael Jaha White is getting mad, he's like, yo, tell me why I shouldn't have my smoke you right now. And he's like, look, look, stop. I'm going to show you a magic trick. I'm going to make this pencil disappear. Now, as he's saying is Michael Jaha White or Gamble, I'm just going to call the his name in the thing because that ain't long as shit. So Gamble's guy gets up to come over and this man slams this nigga's head through the pencil. Bro, well, reminded me of that one scene of John Wick where he's like, I once saw this man kill three men with their pencil. Bro, it reminded me of that scene, but it really happened in front of me. This nigga forehead dove into the pencil. You couldn't even see it anymore. Bro said, ta-da, it disappeared. So at this point, Gamble is fucking tight, but the Italian ass dude across from him, well, I think he's Russian actually, my bad. The Russian ass dude across from him was like, well, no, wait, 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 I want to hear his offer. So he starts talking to this nigga about Batman, right? He's like, look guys, I'm gonna be honest. Batman has got everybody hip to what's going on here. And what I'm basically saying is everybody in the world, in this city at least, knows that you guys are really some bitches. There's only one way to get past this guy. We have to kill him. Now all of them laugh at this, but then they're like, hmm, how much do you want? He says, half. Now I don't know about y'all, but when a nigga says how much and the other nigga says half, that is insane. That just means, yeah, everything you have and everything you're going to get, I just want half. I don't have an amount. I just want half. Whatever you have right now, all together, give me half of it. But of course, they can't turn it down because the Batman is a fucking menace. He says, look, man, I'm going to be honest. We got to kill this. Thing. Because what's going to happen is y'all are going to plan to do something. And this guy on the TV here, Batman is going to find him. And he's going to make him squeal. I've seen squealers. This is a snitch. He called this nigga on TV 6-9. Anyways, after this, Game Boy's had enough and gets mad and gets up. Now, again, I'm going to be honest. In this moment, I would have did the same thing that this motherfucker the Joker did, yo. Because he pulls out a whole jacket side full of grenades. I am not fighting fucking Game Boy. I'm not fighting Michael Jaha White. I'm good off that. He says, yo, calm the fuck down before I got to blow things up. Let's not blow this out of proportion. I ain't going to lie. The puns that this nigga Joker was making was different. Now, after this, Gamble was not a very nice guy, and he gambled with his life. He had a problem. He wanted the Joker dead, so he put half a million on this guy's head. Half a million to bring me a dead body, a million if he's alive so I can teach him a lesson. That's what his words were, not mine. And boy, you should have swallowed those words, because this nigga got set straight the fuck up. So the Joker had people bring him in in a body bag. Now, this man was like, look, oh, okay, a dead body. I got 500 for it. As soon as he says it, this nigga Joker hops out the bag. I've never seen a nigga hop out of the grave like that. It reminded me of Thriller Bark when the zombie was about to come out and pump up the Luffy pushed him back down. Joker hopped out of this like he was Frankenstein. Put a knife straight in this nigga's mouth. I said, first off, pause. I ain't gonna lie. And then he tells a story about his scars. He says, well, you know, my dad, he was a drunk. And one night, my mom made him mad, see? Why did I say C like that? Like he was... <laughs> yeah, see? His mom made his dad mad that night. And his dad decided to take it out on her. Now, of course, Joker was not very happy about this. So we look kind of disturbed by it. And his dad didn't like that either. He said, hey, little why aren't you smiling? Why so serious? Why don't I fix that? 
And then he carved a scarred fucking smile into the Joker's face. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. That's a cold nigga. That's an abusive ass nigga. Somebody please call CPS for Kid Joker. I'm just saying. Now, after this, we don't see Joker for a while. But when we do see him, he's up to mischief again as he takes the Batman lookalike that they use for fucking TV on national television and says, if Batman doesn't admit who he is, people will die starting tonight. And after he says this, I'm like, oh, okay, who is he going to kill? And then it dawned on me. Oh, there's a in a room that looks like Batman. He's about to smoke this nigga on TV. Nick said, I'm a man of my word and then punish this nigga. Things didn't get any better when he got to the party scene shows up at this party that this man was throwing talking about where's harvey he asking everybody where harvey at i said what you trying to audition for family feud like goddamn sees this one old nigga, he grabs his face he said you remind me of my father i hated my father i said god damn trying to shake old niggas. so at this point rachel was like enough but then she got grabbed up, yo. I got to talk about this scene, right? And the dedication that this nigga Heath Ledger had, right? Because Heath Ledger did not script this scene. He was actually doing this shit in the real scene, grabbing her face, talking to her all heavy. It wasn't fucking scripted, but she was squirming and uncomfortable. It's because he was really being serious. Motherfucker really grabbed her whole face. Batman finally showed up, but it was too late. This nigga started mixing Batman. First off, this nigga had a fucking dependable, detachable extendo accessory attachment knife i don't know what the f to call it. he had a boot knife started mixing this then he grabs rachel she's like stop let her go we said oh should have picked better words and drops her i can't even believe that that shit happened bro anyways fast forward there's this big ass action scene but i'm not going to talk about it because there's not much that happened with the joker except this thing ends up getting arrested <sighs> commissioner gordon is the goat i guess but anyways he's locked up clapping for this commissioner gordon bro clapping for this in his face after he's done smoked cops first off get this a fucking award for smoking cops 12 get this a oscar get this a grammy a gold medal something get this some bread i swear to god let's fast forward to the instigation scene instigation i said instigation i really meant interrogation but like, like, like we gonna leave that in but that was crazy so in this interrogation scene we got batman talking heavy to the joker but the Joker is really the one doing the heavy lifting with the vocabulary. I ain't going to lie to you. He was talking heavy to the Batman. I'm going to translate that for you real quick. He was like, hey, gang, gang, gang. It's your boy, Big Joker. All right, I ain't going to hold you. I'm going to cut all the theatrics, bro. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. Niggas don't fuck with me, right? You know that. I'm a clown. I be wearing Fenty makeup and shit. Shout out Rihanna and all that. But niggas definitely don't fuck with you either. You a white privilege ass, rich ass billionaire walking around in a spandex ass suit that just happens to be bulletproof. Nigga, I'm not gonna lie. You look like a zesty nigga in armor. Then you got a mask where your face just showing. Nigga, if somebody shoots you and your mouth is over. Ain't nothing protecting you. Anyways, I'm here to tell you, bro, that you got choices to make. Because I got Harvey Dent right now. That about to die but also got rachel and that about to die too and you gotta decide which ones you want to save now at this point batman is not amused by this bro he's like tell me where they are he's like all right nigga, first off get your hands off my collar nigga, this suit is custom made nick was in a fucking cat williams suit i'm just saying so at this point we fast forward a little bit he done told batman about these bodies but he's in an interrogation room again with a different cop again talking heavy to him he's like yo you know why i use the knife yo because you get to get every single moment of it. You don't gotta instantly kill people. You can wait. You can see who's really a bitch and who's not. You wanna know which one of your friends were pussies? I was like, oh my God. So at this point, yo, that nigga was not playing. He go to go fight the Joker, I guess, and gets yoked up. Bro in the hallway with a gun to his neck. They like, Joker, what is the problem? What do you want? I just want my phone call. This nigga just wanted to call home. But then we realized the one of the biggest plot twists in movies as this nigga wanted to get arrested on purpose Cause he put a fucking bomb in a fat ass nigga's stomach. This big ass nigga in the cell like, oh, I don't feel so good. Nigga look like Cartman. And as soon as he called this nigga's phone, doo -doo -doo -doo, it won to detonate. <laughs> he blew up the whole office. It really fooled them niggas. Anyways, at this point, he accomplished the goal he was supposed to do. So the Italians, Russians, and the black guys, <laughs> the black guys is insane. They all give him his half of the money. But this nigga Joker's a little bit deranged, and he's like, it's not about the money. It's about sending a message. So he pours gasoline over all of this money and lights it on fire in front of this guy and then tells the same guy, hey, tell your men that they work for me now. How you gonna burn your money up in front of this nigga 
and then tell him that he has no control over his people anymore and to tell him that you're in charge either you're insane or he's a bitch but in this case i think it's both now we fast forward a little bit after this and this man joker is in the hospital dressed up like a fucking nurse talking to this man two-face at this point He's talking to this nigga. he was like yo gang 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 yo harvey oh my god nigga. first off your face nasty it looked like you got a mcgriddle on the side it looked like somebody scrambled an egg on the side nigga. oh my god what did they hit you with a ray gun what the fuck is going on your face is disgusting right now nigga. Uh, what the fuck? Nigga, did you come from fallout like <laughs> what's going on he was like i ain't gonna lie man it wasn't nothing personal man you are your girl i just had him you know send a message but we gotta give in to your to your evil thoughts you gotta give in to the to the things that you need to give in to like, i don't know what those things are but anyways I'm not, my point is this man done pretty much convinced this nigga two-face to be a bad guy bro and i the joker just be creating little niggas to do his bidding anyways after he leaves the hospital he walks out and blows up an entire hospital wing who knows who was on there could have been pregnant people people with, uh, with terminal illnesses who knows who's in this hospital but you said huh eh, i'm gonna just blow it up and he blew it up what the fuck is wrong with you that wasn't even the craziest thing he did yo because right after this he had a social experiment where he put a bunch of prisoners on one boat a bunch of regular ass civilians and businessmen on the other and gave these two detonators and he said if none of y'all blow anybody up by midnight i'm gonna do it but whoever kills the other boat i'll let your boat live now of course i'm thinking i ain't gonna lie i'm thinking that the prisoners is gonna instantly just overpower the guards get the thing and blow their whole boat up the fucking prisoners but that doesn't happen that man had faith in humanity and humanity came through niggas didn't even do it it didn't really matter though because my nigga had a detonator this entire time but mm, that's neither near or there the thing is though yes batman did you know how i got these scars like nigga, shut up just hit the button now this nigga done throat punched you beat you the fuck up and threw you off the roof of course he fucking saved you god damn bro how you feel to get punished like that you know how i got these scars no but i don't know how you got these ones piggy, 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 piggy. like joker you went out kind of sad there in the end i'm gonna come all the way clean but you still a fucking menace and the way that you've been moving i ain't gonna lie i gotta get you a clown force ones yo all in all though this man joker is a fucking menace and he needed to be stopped and I'm glad, you know, that it does get stopped usually by Batman. Well, not every version. Guess you guys gonna have to come to part two.